back. Uh, now we see some practice questions for regular expressions. And the first scenario is you have to write a regular expression for all words in which A appears tripled, if at all. So whenever A appears, it appears either three times, six times, nine times, and so on. So it is always tripled. So we write the same, uh, you know, the common regular expression for anything is A plus B whole static and we just modify this <coughs> regular expression <coughs> sorry a little bit that whenever a appears it must appear triple so i make it as triple so this is it so let's see the next scenario here we have a scenario where you have to write the regular expression for all words that contain at least one of the strings so they must be string S1 or S2 or S3 or S4. As there is the condition at least one. So you cannot ha have null here. So at least one in the condition. So instead of static, we will add superscript plus sign. So let's make it superscript. And <clears throat> you know, before this, you can have anything like anything before this, and anything after this, and this anything you know is a plus b whole static, and a plus b whole static <clears throat> so you have you can have anything then you can have any number of s1 and s2 and you have anything after that but you know this pattern can also be repeated like you can have a regular expression like this a b s1 a b s2 a like this so here S1 is also followed by something, then again followed by this. So it means we are repeating this pattern. So for this kind of regular expressions, you can have simply clean star of this whole thing. So let's see the next scenario. All words that contain exactly three Bs in total. So we will have exactly three Bs, B, P, and P. And you know this B can fall can have any number of A's in between them optionally. So we can have any number of A's in start, any number of A's in here, here, and here. And this these are optional, so we have added this, this clean star, it means. Uh, you can also have null here. Next we have a scenario where all words that contain exactly two Bs are exactly three Bs. So previously we write for exactly three Bs. We can simply modify this. This is for exactly three Bs or you can have exactly two Bs for exactly two Bs we remove the last b this one so exactly two b's or exactly three b's you can also you know uh, make the uh, equivalent form of this regular expression like this if you take these the common thing out of here like here this is the common thing so we take it out here so we copy here, it here, and for this one we have null. So this is the equivalent form. So both are the same thing. The next is uh, all strings that end in a double letter. So the string may so the, so the string can end and double letter, double letter may be double A or double B. 
and before this double letter you can have anything and for you know for anything we have a plus b whole static and finally we have a scenario where all strings that do not end in a double letter so we have we have, can have anything in start but it this anything should not end in a double letter so it can end at a b or b a and you know even we can also have a single a and like this either we have this one or single b or simply null so this is the uh, you know regular expression for this scenario that if you have some uh, you know more than one letter then anything will be followed by a b or b a or it may be single simply a or simply b or null and finally all strings that have exactly one double letter in them so there must be exactly one double letter like a a ah yes a a it may be a a or it may be b b so if it is a a double letter then you know you can have the repetition of optional a b here a b a b a b it will be repeating then you then get double a and then after this double a you can also have repetition of b a so please note that here we are starting with b because here we have a so we do not want to make it triple a just double a and here we have this b again because here we have a so we do not want to make it triple a okay so this may be the repetition of b a or a b or we have but this we can also have a single b here after this a or we have a null and similarly we can have an optional a in the start Option B in the start like B plus no. Similarly here we can have optional repetition of B A here, optional repetition of A B here, and we can also end it as A optional A here, and we can also start with optional A here. And then finally, again, we have this final scenario where we have all strings in which the letter B is never tripled. This means that no word contains the substring B, B, B. So it means we can have A, we can have A, but we cannot have simply B because it may be tripled, so we will, so A will follow B. But this will not allow us to write double B. So for double B, we, we can have double B A. Again, we have added this A to make sure that B is not tripled. So we take the stack, clean star of the whole. And then we can also have a single B or double B or null. So this is it. Thank you for the watching.